Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Chrome extensions can add useful functionality to your browser. But it goes without saying, the more extensions that you add to Chrome or any browser can slow down and negatively impact your browsing experience when it comes to your browser's performance in, a different, um, in different ways. Now, regarding this, uh, Debug Bear um, recently posted their 2024 report where they tested the page speed impact of 5,000 Chrome extensions as part of their 2024 report on Chrome extension performance. And I thought this was interesting. And I've just taken the what I would I, what I would consider to be your four main categories from this report. There are quite a lot of other categories, but I just took the four uh, main categories. But I'll leave the whole report down below in the description if you'd like to go check that out more in depth. Now, the first um, category regarding Chrome extensions and impacting your web website performance uh, in 2024 is website CPU processing. And they mentioned that to add functionality, most Chrome extensions need to run code on a website. But obviously, this will always add additional processing. So this code needs to run as fast as possible and should only run when needed. But however, many extensions run this code on every website visit. So they looked at the 336 Chrome extensions with over 1 million users and they found that several add over half a second of additional processing time to every page view. And in this first image provided uh, in the first category, yeah, we can see at the top Monica, which is an AI co-pilot with 2 million users, adds 1.3 seconds of processing time even on a simple test website. And Read and Write, which is this extension, with 17 million users, adds 0.8 seconds of processing time. And then Avira Safe Shopping adds the least amount of processing time. And you can just pause uh, the video at the relevant timestamp for each individual chart if you would like to check these out more in depth. And then moving on to the next category, and this was to answer the question from their report. Do Chrome extensions make websites load more slowly? So many extensions increase the amount of CPU processing done on each page that you visit. But the question was, does this also result in pages taking longer to load? So to investigate, they looked at the first content full paint metric, which measures how soon after opening a website, the first bit of page content becomes visible. And here we can see that with uh, Monica, once again, that took the longest for that page content to become visible. That took over just over one second. And with Ad God, Ad, Ad God, Ad Blocker at the bottom, uh, that took the least amount of time for that page content to become visible. And um, that was just under 250 milliseconds. So quite a difference in those extensions, according to that report. Then moving on to the next category, which I actually think um, you would be the most interested in. And this is the impact of ad blocking on website performance. Now, while most Chrome extensions add functionality, ad blockers and ad privacy tools remove it. And that means that ad heavy websites will become faster with these extensions installed. So they mentioned to measure this, they tested two news articles with different ad blockers installed. Across both pages, they found 57 seconds of CPU processing time without an ad blocker installed. So that's yet yeah, with no extension at the top. They mentioned that if they installed uBlock Origin, one of the most popular ad blockers with 37 million users, processing time goes down to just under four seconds. And that's obviously uBlock Origin where that processing time went down to just under four seconds. Then they carry on to say that, interestingly, the two most popular ad blockers do relatively little to reduce CPU activity. Adblock with 66 million users and Adblock Plus with 45 million users both don't save more than about 15% of overall processing time, as we can see from the graph on the chart provided. And then they mention that the script safe extension yeah at the top reduces processing time to less than half a second across both pages however though this is important though this is because all javascript code is blocked which also is likely to break some desired website functionality so obviously that's something to always keep in mind and then the last category 
is basically looking at device memory consumption with ad blockers installed. So from their report, they found that on ad-heavy websites, memory consumption still goes down significantly with most ad blockers. And DDG Privacy Essentials um, caused the least amount of memory consumption, while AdBlock Plus caused the most amount of memory consumption, which we can see at the bottom. So quite an interesting um, chart where in all these different categories, how the different um, ratings vary um, from category to category. And then just to finish this video off, um, they've also provided this Chrome extension performance lookup with what performance impact do the top 1000 Chrome extensions have when loading a website. So you can just enter your Chrome extension or extension into the search and obviously you can get that page CPU time and the first content full paint and those load times as well. So um, I think that from this report though, we can deduce though that obviously um, it goes without saying that the least amount of extensions you have when it comes to uh, extensions in Chrome or any other browser, I think that um, will significantly reduce the amount of load time of your browser. But it also can be said that some ad blockers can actually increase, sorry, decrease the load time of some websites if you have them installed. So obviously there's a bit of give and take with extensions. So like I did over the last um, year or two, I have found the extensions which I've used basically on a very regular basis. The only one I don't use on a regular basis is this Copilot sidebar for Chrome, which I installed recently for the purpose of this channel. But all of these others I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I actually um, removed about four or five extensions about six months ago. And I actually um, saw that it had quite a positive impact on my Google Chrome browser performance. So there you have it. That's that um, 2024 report by Debug Bear which will be down in the description if you'd like to go check out that more in depth. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.